you ever get into not the best theater and there's just something that is annoying you for so much of the movie? Well, the theater I was in today had this loud AC just on for like 75% of the movie. Hey, there's some files. Today I'm reviewing A Real Pain. Written and directed by Jesse Eisenberg. This also stars Jesse Eisenberg and Kieran Culkin as two cousins who visit their grandmother's motherland. This happens shortly after she passes away and we get to experience the bond between these two cousins. Now I want to start off by saying Kieran Culkin is golden in this. Truly a stellar performance. One of the most real and just personable performances I've seen in a while. Definitely one of my favorites of the entire year so far and I think he has to be in the top five for best actor. As we're gearing towards Oscar season right now this is a contender for best actor so far and maybe best screenplay too. I have seen some other people starting to predict this for best picture and although I do really like the movie as a whole I don't know if I'd have it in my personal top 10 and that's not anything necessarily against the film in a major way it's just I feel like there's certain things that this movie has that it does spectacularly as opposed to the whole package. Before I get into all the positives I have for this, I do just want to say this movie does feel longer than its runtime, and although I do like the film's story, I do feel like it could have just hit a bit harder from beginning to end. What really saves this movie are the performances all around. There's not a bad performance at all. Aside from Jesse Eisenberg and Kieran Culkin, you get this group of other tourists with them, and all of them do very well, including the tour guide too. So as an ensemble for all of the performances, that's definitely the strongest part of this film by far. And again, I am hoping for Kieran Culkin to get nominated this year. As for Jesse Eisenberg too, he also does pretty well. There's one scene in particular where I really felt gravitated towards him, not only in how well he performed that scene, but also in the relatability of it. But getting into the other positives, there are some really nice shots in here, although the overall film doesn't really scream beautiful cinematography, it's still well shot. And I do think that the themes this movie decides to dip its toes into, such as the family and generational guilt that one might feel from an immigrant family to exploring a person who has self-destructive tendencies as well as another person who's just so obsessed with being controlling to even the unique tangling of family dynamics and bonds. This movie dips its toes in all of those things and it does pretty well for when it gets into them. However, due to the nature and structure of this story, I do wish it was able to just sink its teeth into it a bit more. Because truly, for as good as this film film is, it does leave me wanting a bit. Overall, this is actually a really good film, and I've seen many people really speak highly about this, and I can see why. It's just for me, those few flaws that I have with it do bring it down a little bit more than I thought it would, especially now having sat with it for a couple of hours. As a whole, this is a really good movie, and it's definitely worth checking out if it's playing near you, and it might even be amongst your favorite movies of the entire year, as this dramedy does have many things to say, and it says it pretty well. That combined with some truly spectacular performance, performances, I'm sure many people are going to love this movie if they get the chance to see it. As for me, I do think it's a really good film, but it's nothing necessarily revolutionary. I give A Real Pain a 3.5 out of 5 stars. There's some really great comedic moments and there's some really dramatic moments and this movie does a pretty good job at balancing it all. Once again, definitely go check this movie out if it's near you and you're even the slightest bit interested because I would be curious in your thoughts. So please let me know what you think of it down in the comments below. As always, thank you guys for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Be sure to stay tuned for more Yeti Films content and I'll watch you later.